Hi, I'm Roy Furr with Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. And for uh, today's video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, I'm doing another one big idea video, this time about the book you see on screen, Play Bigger by, and there are four authors here, Al Ramadan, Dave Peterson, Christopher Lockhead, and Kevin Maney. And uh, I found this book to be one of, frankly, the best, most important business books that I have read. And yet at the same time, I also feel like it has one of the worst titles. And, uh, you know, that's, that's no insult towards the authors, but Play Bigger is so vague and generic of a title that it really doesn't convey the uh, depth and power of the materials in this book. Uh, the, the subtitle, even that, How Pirates, Dreamers, and Innovators Create and Dominate Markets, <coughs> that maybe starts to get at some of the power in this book, uh, but, but really it goes so much, so much deeper than that. What this book is about, the one big idea that you could take away from this video and start using it right away, and you can go much deeper on in the book itself, is category design. And uh, what does that mean? What, what's the implication here? Well, category design is a process that you go through as a business, not just starting a business and creating products or services to solve the, the problem of a marketplace, but actually going out and beyond just starting your business, starting or creating a brand new category of solution a brand new category of product or service that serves your market in a brand new way. And through the intentional creation of your own category, you ultimately become the dominant force in that category. Now, if you're able to create a category for your business and build your products or services around that category, build your offers around fulfilling uh, the, the, the solution promised in that category, you are at an immediate and profound advantage over any and all competitors because once you establish yourself as the category leader in that space, it can take years and even decades for competitors to catch up. Now, one of the stories that I really like in this book is, uh, is that of Salesforce. Uh, so a lot of us today know salesforce.com as a customer relationship management system, and there's a lot of other online customer relationship management or CRM softwares out there, even online versions, uh, that are competitive with Salesforce, and yet Salesforce is still the leader in that field. Now, if you go back to the early 2000s when Salesforce was really launching, it was, um, it was a complete revolutionary idea. Not because customer relationship management software didn't exist at the time, but because if you were a business and you wanted a CRM system, you would have to either install desktop software that was completely limited to one uh, computer as far as accessing it, or you would have to actually get on-premises servers and uh, systems set up along with custom software builds designed to fit within your network to give access to your, your sales teams. And your sales team um, would then have to be logged into the network, to access customer data, and so on. And oftentimes, in terms of a, a big business, these systems would cost well into the millions of dollars. But what Salesforce did was they said, hey, um, they actually didn't even come out and say, we have a better customer relationship or, or, or CRM software. They came out and said, no software. This is the end of software as you know it. We're, we're not trying to sell you software. We're not trying to sell you the servers. We're not trying to sell you this on-premises solution. We're saying no software. All that we're saying is you log into a website, your sales team logs into to a website, your sales managers log into a website, your marketing support staff logs into a website, and all of you have access to the exact same customer data. No software installation, none of those headaches, no management on your part. Uh, it, it's not limited to an com individual computer or a network. If you're able to access a website, then you have access to your customer data. And so Salesforce completely took the whole software management, the whole IT aspect of CRM off a client's plate. And they said, no software, but you still get all the benefits of CRM. And that one move really fundamentally 
created a brand new category. It completely shifted the way that CRMs were look, looked at. And suddenly it was, it was, you know, if you wanted customer data, you didn't have to have all of these expensive and tedious solutions that required an entire IT staff to support your sales team. You just had to, uh, you just had to pay for a license to access it through Salesforce. And as that grew, it was, you could access the same data through your smartphone. You could access the same data, uh, you know, any way that you have an internet connection. And it completely shifted. First off, it shifted the entire CRM market. But then uh, beyond that, so much of what we have today is a, is a descendant of Salesforce's what's now known as software as a service model, um, where, where, where you're not actually buying the software, you're not paying for the software, you're actually buying a service which is access to the software that they host, that they maintain, that they put on, on cloud computers where you don't have to worry about any of the traditional uh, tech support issues of that. And uh, there are many other examples, many other stories, and importantly, a, uh, an entire methodology to identifying opportunities to create a category for yourself and your business, and then building that out, how to actually market yourself, not as a, a new business with a new solution to an old problem, but a business that is defining a brand new category and is able to serve you better through recognizing this, this, the need for this new category and uh, so much more. It's a book that I've actually gone through multiple times in the audiobook. I have the uh, hardcover as well. It was actually something I will admit that, um, <laughs> that it took me a long time to get excited about. It took me a long time to actually read because I had that prejudice against the, the title, Play Bigger. I thought, oh, this is another book on hustle and you know living a bigger life and whatever. Um, but really, it's about so much more than that. It's a practical methodology for creating a, a brand new playing field where your business is set to dominate, where you're not dealing with competition in the same way, where you are really defining the rules that will dictate your success going forward. Um, so with that, I, I strongly recommend the book. Again, it's Play Bigger, How Rebels and Innovators Create New Categories and Dominate Markets by Al Ramadan, Dave Peterson, Christopher Lockhead, and Kevin Maney. I will make sure to include a link where you can get the physical copy of the book, the, the audiobook version uh, in, the, in the description with this video. And if you've found this video to be useful, if you want to know more about marketing, copywriting, a direct response, business strategy, internet businesses, uh, your career as a marketer and entrepreneur, entrepreneur, go ahead and go over to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com where you can sign up for my daily emails. Monday through Thursday, you get an email from me with a, with a new article on one of those topics. And on Friday, you get these video issues as well, often covering one big idea from an influential business marketing, or sometimes personal development book. Again, I'm Roy Fur with Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you again in your next video issue.